spent most of the morning in town. Mama had to go get some stuff. So I got back, made some phone calls, some emails, and now let's get this uh, this new oscillating spindle sander on a stand. Now this is the old old table saw stand. I mean, really old. What we're gonna do? We're gonna put these casters. Uh, I had to go anyway. Pick up some. Uh, Pick these up at the Harbor Freight. I'm just going to mount forward to it. And I think one screw and washer in each one here will be fine. Sometimes I tend to over fasten if that's possible. Like that. Now I'll do the other side. Then we'll put it on the floor, turn it upside down, and put the wheels on there. Busy, 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 busy. Alright, the wheels, I'm going to put two screws in each one. That's the way I did on the uh, stand for the joiner planer. It's just like this. Same type of wheels. And honestly, I don't remember if I even did a video on that one. Maybe I did. But if I did, this is the same thing. I, I think that's going to hold it just fine. The machine's fairly heavy, but it's not that heavy. Let's move over this way. It's not heavy enough to where it's going to... take a whole lot to hold it up. Right, there are no precise micrometer measurements on this whatsoever. Just something to roll around. That's all we need. All right, let me do the other two. I won't bore you with all that. And then we'll get it up and set the machine on there. And then we'll start putting the machine together. Now, the more I look at this, I think I'm going to go ahead and take a little extra time. Now, this is OSB, and it's wet because it was outside, out behind the shop. Uh, it doesn't fit all the way across. Because that's all I had at the time when whatever I used this on last. And I bolted it down with some bolts. I've got a piece of scrap plywood that'll cover the entire thing like it really should be. So it won't take but about 10-15 minutes to take this off. And cut another piece. And go ahead and do it right the first time. So let's go ahead and do that. Just four bolts. Take it off. And we'll cut another piece. All right, made the right decision. That's wet, it's warped, it's ugly. Now, let's go hunt some that little piece of wood that's right out back here, I think, and I hope it's dry. Cross your fingers. Now, come up with a better idea. I forgot I had these. Some of y'all will remember when I got the countertops for the uh, all the new countertops I put in that was going to be thrown away. It had a bunch of um, stands where it was actually like a desk, a big desk. I got a bunch of these. So I figured I'd just cut it and use that. Very heavy, very solid. That is two pieces of three quarter oak plywood laminated together with a formica top on both sides. So I've got it cut to size and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Hang on. All 
Turn the whole thing upside down and put it on here. Like that. Now square it up. And uh, I'll drill a couple of holes here and there. And use those slots with some washers and fasten it with some screws. And that'll be a good solid base for the machine to sit on. And I'll go back with my belt sander and round these corners off just a little bit because they're sharp. If the machine was set up, I could use that. But uh, it's not, so we we'll do it the old-fashioned way. And that's what that looks like. Like I said, I'm trying not to over fasten. That will hold that on there just fine. Alright, let's turn it upside down and get the machine set on there and then we'll start putting that together. Well, alright y'all. I think we're all set up, except for cleaning this up and waxing it, which I'll do later. And, uh, I've got the uh, sanding drum on there that I think I'll use the most for like the uh, Alabama Damascus Rattler. Now, I'm not going to sand metal with this per se, but once I get the handles on, I'll even everything out, that way everything will be square. I believe that'll be the right size for this particular one. Of course, I've got all the other sizes over there. Now, I checked on some uh, more sanding drums. These all came with it. And boy, howdy, they are not cheap. But that's okay. If the tool does what it's supposed to do, that's all right. Now, a side note before we turn it on. Alabama Damascus Rattler two will be available very 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 shortly I had to throw that in there so. <laughs> now when I turn it on it's going to oscillate up and down and it doesn't have a longest stroke as I thought it did but um that's alright I can just take that drum off and turn it upside down I guess so uh, y'all ready? I can't find anything in the the book about adjustments and how to make it go more. So uh, let me look at it a little bit more. See if I can figure that out. But there we go. Tool is put together. Now there's no adjustments on the back. Nothing like that. So uh, we'll uh, just see what happens. Now I'm going to put, uh, it's got little holders for all this stuff on the back. We'll put all that in there. Get it moved out of the way for right now. And the day is almost over. Man, it's been a long day. But, uh, that's all right. And if it's all the same with everybody, I think I'll just, uh, move this out of the way for right now and work on some knives. Because I've got quite a few that I've got to get finished. All right, there it is, once again. George, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's gonna be one of the coolest tools I've ever had. So, uh, this will be a short one, but uh, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Oh, one more thing, if I didn't say it, I meant to say it, the old tube stand, the old boards, stuff like this, say it with me, don't throw nothing away, because you will need it one day. <laughs>